Hi y'all, uh, this is Mike here. In today's video, uh, I'm going to bring you guys on how to actually uh, flash Lineage OS to the uh, Nexus 4 itself. Asus, Asus Phone, LG Nexus 4, I think this is uh, the LG version of the Nexus. So uh, this one I get off with Furbish, it's on top of the, uh, one of the retailers. And I think it's pretty good, it comes with original boxes and stuff. But of course some of the accessories, internals, might be a bit different. So, um, we have the packaging, we have some LG stuff as you can see here, as well as there are some you know, uh, headphone jack, uh, headphones, uh, power, power brake itself, and also the cable from LG itself. Um, it looks pretty decent, I don't know whether it's original, but we um, just leave it as it is, that's, that's not important. So, this is the phone itself. And see now, it still looks pretty decent uh, with, the, with the screen behind and all the, all the stuff that it has okay so this is the Nexus 4 itself so in today's video uh, I'm just gonna show you guys how you want to actually flash the Lineage OS to this phone itself so let's just get on with it as you can see this is the Nexus 4 so in today's video I'm just gonna bring you guys on how to flash custom ROM to the Nexus 4 itself. So for you guys who are still using this phone, actually for me this phone still looks pretty 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 nice. So if you are still using this phone, uh, it's good for you to actually use the latest one. I think they this runs on Android Lollipop on the stock itself. So uh, as you can see now it's running on Lollipop 5.1.1 and they don't even have the security patch info mm -hmm. so if you are using this phone as your daily driver it would be good for you to update to the latest version which is the Android 7.1.2 uh, over at Lineage OS so that you can get the latest security patch and stuff right so without further ado let's just move on to the next step so what you need to do next is to ensure you have USB debugging enabled so you can go to about phone press on the build number for 7 times you are now a developer, then you go to develop options, just enable USB debugging and press OK. And you're all set. So what you didn't do next is to connect this phone to the computer and you can move on to the next step. Uh, so once you have your device connected to the PC, what you can do is do ADB devices to ensure the device is connected. So as you can see now, the device is connected. So the next thing you need to make sure that you have all the uh, needed Lineage OS, ROM, as well as the GAPs copied into your device. So once all that is ready, you can do ADB reboot, boot loader to boot uh, the device into fast boot mode. So once the device is in fast boot mode, you can take a look at the lock state. If the lock state is locked, so you would need to do a fast boot OEM unlock. If it's not, then you can just ignore that. So for my case now, the phone is locked. So what you need to do is do a fast boot uh, uh, devices to ensure the device is connected. So once it's connected, you can do a fast boot OEM unlock. So when you do a fast boot OEM unlock, uh, this screen normally will basically pop up to, end, to ask whether you are okay to unlock it. One of the reason being is because when you do an unlock bootloader, uh, your stuff might, might be erased. So end of the day, um, you might want to back up your phone first before you do this. So once you have everything backed up, you can actually do an unlock bootloader and click on the yes for you to proceed with the flashing. Right? Just um, use the volume rocker to select and use the power button to select, right? I mean like you use the, you use the volume rocker to choose which selection you want, yes or no, and use the power button to confirm it so what you need to do now is press on power button and as you can see now it's erasing so once that is done your lock state would be unlocked okay once you have the bootloader unlocked um, normally the advisable step to do is to reboot bootloader so that you can refresh the bootloader so you can just select reboot bootloader using the volume rocker and press on a power button to reboot it so once you click on it um, your bootloader will get rebooted then once it's done, we'll move on to the computer for the rest of the setup. Okay, once the uh, um, bootloader has been unlocked, what you can do now is to flash the recovery. So what you can do is basically do a fast boot, flash, 
Recovery TWRP Macro right so this is the latest recovery for this phone so you just do a enter and the recovery has been flashed so once that is done you can move on to the phone for the rest of the setup okay once you have flashed the recovery what you can do is to use a volume rocker to move to recovery mode and press on the power button to activate it so once that is done you should be booted into TWRP recovery See team win TWR recovery. So what you have to do is just to do to swipe to allow modification. So normally what we'll do is just do a factory reset. Swipe to factory reset. When that is done, you just need to go back, go back, and do an install, and do a lineage, add more zip, and jabs. And you're done. Once you're done, you have like two files that it's uh, selected and stuff. So you can just do a swipe to confirm flash. So then what the next thing you need to do is just wait for the process to complete and you will have the Nature OS in, installed into your phone in no time. Okay, so once the uh, flash has been completed, you can do a wipe the Vic cache. Then once that's done, you can do a reboot system. If you're not installed, then you just need to wait for the Nature OS to boot up for the first time. So it will take a while, so let's just wait it out. Okay, finally the phone get booted up. Um, just bear in mind the first boot will take pretty long, so just wait it out or just find something else to do during that time. So just move on to next. Next, uh, skip. Setup is new. This one you can just skip it first. Continue. <coughs> and we can adjust the daylight saving time. I can go to. My time zone into the next, next, and just close up all this. I don't think I want to do all this now, so just go next. All set. Next, start. So, as you can see now, Lineage OS is running on the Nexus 4 itself. It might not be as snappy as Nexus 5, but it still feels pretty good. If you look at it, um, it's running on... There's some, there's some micro lag here and there. Um, it's running on Android 7.1.2 and the security patch is up to April 5th, which is pretty decent and recent. So, if you are still using this phone as your daily driver, you should really consider uh, flashing it to the niche, which I think will give you more security updates and as well as more support for the apps and stuff with the latest Android Nougat uh, maybe it's not the latest but it's one of the latest available uh, software itself for the phone okay uh, guys that's all I have for today uh, if you have any question regarding flashing uh, Lineage OS to your uh, Nexus 4 you can leave uh, comments down below I'll try to uh, answer that as much as I can and if you like the videos I'm doing, please give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel for any future updates of the upcoming one. Um, I'm, I'm actually planning to do a Luna OS, a Luna OS installation into the Nexus 4, Nexus 5 itself as well as the touchpad. So stay tuned. And uh, that's all I have for today. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.